I made a video a while back explaining why I didn't exactly enjoy Monster Hunter World, including Iceborne. But in hindsight, I feel like I didn't go into enough details or cover some of the key points about my experience. With the upcoming release of Monster Hunter Wilds, I wanted to revisit my thoughts and properly explain why Monster Hunter World didn't exactly work for me, while also acknowledging why others perhaps even love it. So, in this video, I'll actually want to expand on those points, right? I'm going over through more thorough breakdown of what didn't exactly click for me, despite the game's popularity. Now, when I first played Monster Hunter World more than four years ago, I genuinely was interested. It was a big title with a dedicated fan base and even live streamed my gameplay on YouTube to share my experience. However, as I progressed, it became clear that the game exactly wasn't for me. Now, as I think back, the announcement of Monster Hunter Wilds brought up some of the memories of the world, both for good and of course for the bad. While I recognize why many people adore these series, I just wanted to take a closer look at the reasons exactly why it didn't ex well resonate with me. Before I proceed, I wanted to mention that initially my first video about Monster Hunter World experience that I've had, well, they're all genuine. And just one of my biggest gripes with Monster Hunter World was the uninspired weapon design. For a game where crafting new gear from monster parts is a core loop, I found that the weapons to be surprisingly plain. After taking down a massive monster, I expected my newly crafted gear to feel like a trophy, visually representing the beast I had just conquered. But instead, many of the weapons felt, well, generic, with only minor details to indicating the parts that they were made from. It left me feeling disconnected from the sense of the achievement that comes with the crafting these weapons. Again guys, I have to clarify this very important point. This is just my thoughts. I understand that a lot of you may not feel the same way, and I welcome all the critique. Now the game's large maps and the verticality should have been a highlight, but in my goodness in practice they are introduced more frustration than quite an excitement. The levels, while visually stunning, were a pain to navigate at times, especially when chasing monsters across large distances. This back and forth felt like padding, making hunts unnecessarily long. The new verticality added another layer of frustration, as the AI pathing struggled to keep up, resulting in a monster getting stuck or wandering off in strange directions. It was a promising idea that didn't quite hit the mark in the execution personally for me. Turf Wars, where two monsters fighting each other mid-hunt, sounded kind of like a fantastic feature, but in reality they are often dragged out at the hunts unnecessarily. Instead of feeling like a lucky break when another monster showed up, it turned into a chaotic mess that broke the flow of the fight. These encounters, while visually impressive, added stress rather than strategy, and ultimately became a feature I dreaded encountering during my hunts. The investigation system was another element that slowed down my enjoyment of the game. The idea of tracking monsters and investigating their behavior sounded engaging, but in practice, it felt like busy work, constantly stopping to collect footprints or other clues dragged out the process, making progression feel unnecessarily slow. What was intended to build immersion ended up making me feel like I was grinding through pointless tasks before I could even begin the actual hunt. One of the most frustrating parts of Monster Hunter World was the limited availability of certain high-profile quests, especially those featuring massive monsters like Zora Magdaros. If you miss the specific window when these quests were available, you are out of luck. These kinds of restrictive systems felt unfair, as I often couldn't engage with content on my own schedule. It limited my ability to experience some of the game's more exciting moments, and I found myself frustrated by how much the game dictated when I could play certain missions. Although praised for its environments, I found certain aspects of Monster Hunter World underwhelming visually. Some textures lack details, and while the monsters themselves were well designed, there was something about the overall aesthetic that left me feeling disconnected. Given the scope of the game, I expected more, and these visual shortcomings hurt the game's overall immersion for me. I knew going into the Monster Hunter world that it wasn't going to be a story-driven game, but even so, the narrative felt like an afterthought. 
The story did little to draw me in, and by the end of it, I barely cared about the plot. It seemed like it was only there to give me a reason to hunt monsters, which made the overall experience feel somewhat hollow. This lack of compelling narrative didn't help my engagement with the game's grindy, heavy mechanics. One of my more major frustrations with Monster Hunter World was the inconsistencies of the hitboxes, and I already mentioned this in my previous video. There were several times when I would get hit by an attack just that didn't seem to visually connect with my character. These moments genuinely felt unfair, and they really detracted from the satisfaction of the combat. When the core of the game is centered around challenging fights, things like hitbox inconsistencies can really break the experience. Progression in Monster Hunter World felt unnecessarily stretched out. It took far too long to unlock meaningful content, and by the time I reached the more interesting parts of the game, many of the early rewards felt like a waste. The grind, instead of feeling rewarded, began to feel like a chore, and it took too long to get to the heart of the game. For a game that is designed to be played with others, the multiplayer system in Monster Hunter World was surprisingly clunk clunky. Trying to join friends and hunts was often a hassle with restrictions on who could join based on where they were in the story. Even when we managed to sync up, the process of jumping into the quest together was more tedious than it would should have been. Instead of being an enjoyable social experience, playing multiplayer felt like if we were constantly fighting against the game systems. At the end of the day, the gameplay loop of the Monster Hunter world became tedious for me. While the initial thrill of hunting down monsters and crafting gear was fun, the repetition of it all started to wear thin. The grind combined with the various systems that felt like they got in the way more than they helped made the gameplay just feel like a slog after a while. With Monster Hunter Wilds on the horizon, I'm curious but cautious. While the Monster Hunter series has a devoted fanbase that loves these mechanics, my experience with Monster Hunter World left me skeptical. I'm interested to see if Wilds addresses some of these issues, but based on my past experiences, I'm tempering my expectations. While I recognize why people love these games, they may not just be for me. Still, I'll be watching to see how Wilds is received, and who knows, maybe it will even surprise me. Perhaps I should clarify before I end this commentary. When I mentioned that I was streaming Monster Hunter World while and also experiencing it all for myself, it was back about more than four years ago, so a lot of things could have changed by now. Nevertheless, I just want to go through this journey and reminisce of how it was for me of experiencing Monster Hunter World while also seeing what Monster Hunter Wilds has to offer. Again guys, I understand that you may not agree with my thoughts, and I respect that. That's fine. You can criticize all you want down in the comments, and I welcome it too. And of course, maybe I can even give you my reply if, well, if the comments are sensible and respectful. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, I'll see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.